All right, another small update for OS4. So Frederick created a, another new function to actually help with uh, the responsive blast. Um, so now, um, originally there was a responsive blast that we had designed, that I had designed more, worrying about the responsive portion of it, but not the uh, actual effect. Um, and SA22C, uh, Matt, actually, when he was doing a little bit of testing, he commented that he actually liked the blast on the main OS better. So. Uh, Frederick was actually able to give us the ability to replicate that with responsive control. Um, so now there'll actually be three uh, versions of a responsive blast. So there'll be responsive blast, um, which I'll show the new effect. So that is to mimic the blast in uh, the regular blast in uh, 3.9. Then we'll have a responsive blast fade, uh, which is like the blast fade out, but instead of being a whole blade, it'll be responsive. So it'll be a port, a point on the blade. Um, and then the last one is Responsive Blast Wave. Um, and that one, uh, I'll show it, but it's a little different than the just regular blast. It's a kind of a bigger wave, essentially. So this first one, this will be the new Responsive Blast, um, and it's to mimic the Responsive, uh, or the bla just regular blast. Um, so it still moves based on the angle of your blade, but now you'll get the dissipation along the blade through an area. So, so that's the effect. So the angle of the blade will change where that start point is and then it dissipates up and down um, and th there's parameters just like there is for blast so the defaults will all be set but you can change the wave size the speed and how long the effect lasts um, but this will be the responsive blast how it ends up looking and then this is responsive blast wave so it's similar but the wave and the wave actually goes the full length of the blade starting from wherever that blast is and it carries up and down um, and it's a little different looking effect than just responsive blast so this is responsive blast wave so it's a little bigger but again the center point is responding to that blade angle so that's what makes it responsive but it does carry along the whole blade and that also you can set the wave size the speed um, and how long the effect lasts um, so that's going to be responsive blast wave. Data. And then this is responsive blast fade. Um, so responsive blast fade is the one that I've been showing originally. So that one, it's just going to be a specific point on the blade, which will move. You can control how long that fade takes um, and the size of that blast area. Um, but that one responds as well to the angle. So for OS4 now, there'll be three versions of Responsive Blast. Uh, each one has a little different effect, um, but uh, just uh, another new addition. Thanks to Frederick for getting the, the wave uh, uh, transition uh, working. Um, so these will be built in. Um, so if any of you who kind of poked around and looked at the previous Responsive Blast, that one is now going to be called Responsive Blast Fade. So if that's the one you like, that's Responsive Blast Fade. If you're using Responsive Blast, um, it'll actually be that first one which has the, the blast that dissipates along the blade. Um, so just a change because um, obviously we're trying, we're still tweaking stuff and getting stuff finalized. Um, so anybody who's looked at it previously, the, if you like the one that you saw earlier, uh, that's now called Responsive Blast Fade. Um, just so you know.